Here's the thing about your brain. It wants to make your life easier. It creates rules, shortcuts, and ways of seeing the world in order to simplify your life. Some of those shortcuts are really useful, like isn't it great that your brain automatically knows when your matcha latte is too hot? But some of those simplifications are simply unhelpful. Psychologists call this way of thinking cognitive distortions, and I like to think of them as these funhouse mirror ways of seeing the world that keep us from seeing the world as it actually is. If you want a more official definition of a cognitive distortion, here's a definition from Psych Central. A cognitive distortion is an exaggerated pattern of thought that is not based on facts. It consequently leads you to view things more negatively than they actually are. There are all kinds of cognitive distortions and I love talking about all of them, but we're gonna get really specific today and talk about one type of cognitive distortion and how it impacts our self-care. I hear this thought pattern all the time with the inner workout community and it's all or nothing thinking. This mindset goes by many names. You may have heard it called black or white thinking, either or thinking, dichotomous thinking, binary thinking. These are all synonyms for all or nothing thinking. All or nothing thinking is a very common cognitive distortion that tells us there are only two options or two identities that we can hold or two ways of viewing the world. There's no gray, there's no nuance, there's no in-betweens to be had. Sometimes we turn all or nothing thinking inwards. So that sounds like saying I'm either a really great daughter or I'm a terrible daughter. Sometimes we turn that thinking outwards. So my friend either cares about me or they don't care about me at all. And sometimes we use that thinking to evaluate a situation. There's the right way or the wrong way. And if this all or nothing thinking mindset is sounding familiar, there's a pretty good chance that you're also a perfectionist. In my very unscientific opinion, perfectionism and all or nothing thinking go hand in hand. Perfectionists have really high standards for themselves. And so it's very easy to fall into this mindset of there's the right way or there's the wrong way, I'm good, or I'm bad, I'm meeting my standards, or I'm not meeting my standards. And so when you're working through your all or nothing thinking, you're actually doing some work on your perfectionism as well. We're gonna give a few examples of how all or nothing thinking can show up in your self-care and in your inner work. So let's start with some examples of turning all or nothing thinking inwards. With self-care, that could sound something like, I haven't earned self-care today because I'm just a lazy slob. Hear that zero sum thinking? You've just made two categories for yourself. Either you're productive or you're a lazy slob. And if you're a lazy slob, well, no self-care for you today. See how that wouldn't be super supportive for you? Now let's look at an example of turning that thinking outwards. So that might look like they know what they're doing and I know nothing. And once again, we're back to those two extremes. There's the people who know what they're doing and the people who know nothing. There's no gradation, there's no room for growth. And what that line of thinking does is it invalidates what you do know and it disconnects you from your inner wisdom. And now let me share an example of how you might use all or nothing thinking to evaluate a situation. You might say something to yourself like, well, I only have two minutes to journal and two minutes isn't enough to do morning pages. So you know what? I'm just not going to journal at all today. When you're having that internal conversation, there's only the right way to do something and everything else. And so when that right way isn't available, then you end up not taking care at all. And that's actually one of the big reasons why we built the Inner Workout app is because we saw so many people saying, I don't have time for self-care, I don't have enough time for self-care. And so we wanted to create a tool that allowed people to practice self-care with the time that they have. So whether you have three minutes or three hours, there's always a way for you to practice self-care. If you wanna learn more about the Inner Workout app, you can go to innerworkout.co slash app or click the link below. And that leads us into four tips to manage all or nothing thinking. So the first tip is to start by building awareness. At the beginning, your goal isn't to stop all or nothing thinking. You wanna start by noticing it as it's happening. You'll start to see trends. Does all or nothing thinking mostly show up in your relationships, in your creative pursuits, at work, at home? The more awareness you build, 
the easier it will be to start to develop new thought patterns. Which leads me into tip number two, which is about reframing your thoughts. So if it's accessible to you, you could work with a therapist who specializes in cognitive behavioral therapy. It's all about noticing your thoughts and reframing them. And if that isn't available to you, or if you want to start doing some work on your own, you might try a tool like Catch It, Check It, Change It. So you start by catching the thought, that's where building that awareness comes in, and then you check the thought. You ask if it's true, if it's objectively true, if it's useful, and then you change the thought to something that's going to be more useful and more supportive for you. Tip number three is a little on the nose. It's look for the third option. So what you do when you realize that there's actually a third or a fourth or a fifth or a 377th option is you break the illusion that it's either or. And like I said before, we really built the Inner Workout app so that you have a bunch of third options at your fingertips. The fourth and final tip that I'll share is to cultivate a growth mindset. Dr. Carol Dweck coined this term, and here's how she defines growth mindset. Growth mindset is a mindset where people believe that most basic abilities can be developed through dedication and hard work. Brains and talent are just the starting point. When perfectionism tries to tell you that you don't know enough or you're not capable enough, remind yourself that growth happens through imperfect action. You can't get better if you don't start. If you saw yourself in any of the examples that I shared in this video, I really hope you'll take this as an invitation and not as an attack. This is not just you, all or nothing thinking is really common, and it keeps you from giving and receiving the care that you deserve. So before you exit out of this video and move on to the next thing, choose one step that you're going to take to shift your relationship to all or nothing thinking. And know that you don't have to do this work alone. Through our newsletter, our podcast, and videos like these, we're always creating resources to make well-being easier. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe and take care.